Welcome back to yet another edition of Bow Reviews and Unboxing with Mortar Archery. So there sounds, seems to be a weak spot, so there we will open this one. Came from Finland. I only say Living Arrow. But you know this bow already. But this one is the long version with 34 inch draw. And finally. I can have my hands on this bow. And Simon, if you listen, if I shall compare the Raptor 34 inch to the Living Arrow 34 inch, send me one. <laughs> Joking. So that was a quick unboxing. Look. Oh. <laughs> Remember the handle? <laughs> Here we go. The asymmetrical living arrow horsebow with a maximum draw length of 34 inches. I only wanted to do the unboxing, but I'm not sure if I can stick with this now. <laughs> what do we have? 28 inches, 40 pounds, max 34 living arrow. We have here these leather string pads. We have the handle as we know it. So the details you already know from the bow before. Hmm. Pretty, huh? A lightweight. 34 inches. But first things first, what we don't know yet is Exactly. Knock to knock. Really need to get my... So now you need to see knock to knock means you really go on the surface. So you force it through the handle. And you end up with 56 inches. What did the other bow have? 56, 34 inches max draw, divided to 56 inch bow length is a 0 0.61, when we round up gently, 0 0.61, so not bad, not bad, it's already in the 0 0.6 league, so to say, so stringing this bow, should be not about 40 pounds, at 28, I wonder how much it will be at 34. Oh, feels good. I'm only careful when I string things since I had some bad experience lately. So, straight. Straight. So, let's do directly the eagle test. Now, when you look how thick these tears are. Uh, but thin, but thick, but wide, not wide, not, you know what I mean? <coughs> not wiggling here. Yeah. Even there, it's quite surprisingly sturdy for a long bow, like 56, what did, 56 I said, right? Yeah. This handle, one of its kind, edgy on the front, so really good grip for your hand. Moment of truth. Oh. I mean, you feel the 40 pounds, of course. You feel it, 40 pounds, but then it goes like this. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. 34 inches. I'm not even mm, sure if I want to draw this bone at 34 inches. But 
you can. Oh, this one now, 33 inches. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And smooth. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I continue. I didn't want, I only wanted to do the unboxing, but yeah, there's this, you know. <laughs> Arrow wise, we have here carbon error, 34 and a half inches. So I don't draw them completely full. And they weigh 500. Fully 50, so 10 grain. Just fine. Living arrow, horse bow. What a pretty bow and asymmetrical. Look at this. So you have the arrow, but watch the video I did for the 32 inch version. There I explained all the benefits why you should have an asymmetrical bow. And why this bow has stacking at the end with 32 inches. I explained this over, so I simply watch the video, but look at this bow again. Not sure if it's useful for how Mihai shoots that you shoot 34 inch arrows. When you consider you have your arrows there somewhere in your waist quiver or something or even in your back quiver because with 34 inch arrows everything takes longer, is longer. Look, you need to really pull them out there, but still doable. And of course you need to draw longer. Yeah. And did you see that? I didn't even, it sits automatically. Holy crap, that's a cool ball. It, because of, but I explained this all. <laughs> Interesting. That's a knock knock joke. So I didn't draw fully now. We get there. Holy crap. A little. Of course, longer limbs. But I'm so. E even the Paragon bows, I feel now vibration. Today we had a Paragon bow at the range. But it's totally not annoying, so it's don't mix it. It's me. So of course you could shoot this bow now mediterranean 28 inches but which sense does it make it's like you buy a ferrari and you only drive in second gear makes no sense so but it still look fires the arrows nice away you can't say anything but of course you want to have a longer draw there you feel it it's getting heavy back there so you have this again this forced stacking at the end. So you know when you're done. I thought my thumb will, <laughs> this was a move, uh, some, some noise. You know when it's done, when you reach full draw, uh, the arrow snaps out of your fingers. But oh, all the pain beside me showing off again. We need to focus there. You see that? Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in there. Last days I'm really spoiled with interesting and good bows, and this one is definitely one of them. Holy crap! Even these lightweight arrows, you have totally no no hand shock, nothing. And vibration is minimal. So, hmm? no words right now. Uh, the price, the short version is two ninety five, I think something. I don't know right now, but simply ask. You might want to consider something, some release, uh, some protection. Wait, let's shoot Persian draw. Yeah, I need to do it again. See, and always they say the coupler's kids have the worst shoes. Look, these are my arrows. Hi. Okay. 
Persian draw with 29 inches. Yeah, a little too limited. Here you have way more look than you have this more chesty draw. Ow. Stop. But you might really need some glove. 40 pounds at 28, and then you have 50 pounds at. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You need something. Insane bow. I prefer more sombrilis, but holy moly, what a bow. It's like with the Kung Fu Panda, the magic ingredient soup. There was nothing in it, but there's a magic Mihai in it. Insane. So, 10 grain, I think. 500 grain, 50 pounds, you know, kind of. 185. 193. Oh, I told you. 198. Again, almost 200. We will get there. We will get to the magic number of 200. Hm. Don't know what to say to this bow. Awesome. Handle. Everything. Perfect. Why do you show an error? Huh? Huh? Why? Oops, oh, these knocks. The string is a little thin. There is no knocking point on this time, so. 130, uh, 183, 38, so. 189, 10 grain, but I didn't draw fully now, I guess. It shows 189. I don't know if. Do you see something? No, I tried one more time. One more time, then my thumb is done. 192. So once you come to full draw, which I don't do right now, 194. So I think oh, 200 is possible. So let's wrap it up. Living arrow, horse bow with a max draw of 34 inches. Build quality, totally per hectare. It's, it's, it's really sturdy. You can see it. So it's nothing too thin, nothing too flimsy. This is made as a, as a working tool on your horse. Awesome. So even if you don't draw completely 34 inches, this bow is fine. When 32 is just a little too limiting for you and this harsh stacking for the release at 32, go with this one, insane. You need something for your finger, so without any protection, not very long. But look at this bow. And it, it's, not, it's not uncomfortable. Draw experience is totally fine. This vibration, maybe it even disappears after you shoot a few times. Can happen, you have these small string pads there. Build quality is set, premium. And price is under premium for my opinion. When you get the bow for, like this for 300 euros, it's I don't want to say it's a bargain, it's still 300 euros, but for what you get and for the knowledge which is in there, if you like asymmetrical bows, if you like the different kind of handle. So I don't want to say that it's not traditional only because you don't see it somewhere on drawings and paintings on whatever, doesn't mean that it didn't exist because that feels so natural that I think maybe in ancient times they had these ideas too already, but we simply didn't find them and if then it's a good addition to the tradition addition through tradition as you see it's already taught yes a pretty bow really sturdy look here the thick layers of, of, of mesh I guess wonderful tips are not too you know when horseback and this is really a working animal but kicks the arrows away they fly and they fly and they fly they don't want to stop so there's a lot of punch behind this 40 pounds or 50 pounds at 34 
and everything in between is just fine. So, conclusion, if you're up for an asymmetrical bow, which is even for a beginner, because others we tested, they are quite wiggly and when you do this, then they snap already. So not for beginners, they are maybe a slightly tick faster, but the durability of this one, this is the all-terrain, all-season, multi-purpose workhorse which has an elegance to it and the draw experience is perfecto. So, this is it, here you have it. Thank you Mihai for sending it to me, for letting me even know that you build no longer draw length, but I knew already before. <laughs> Thank you for watching, catch you in the next one.